I'm right and these cryptos do survive, and I'm talking about best of breed here, best of breed is so important, Bitcoin, Ethereum, then you're going to make a lot of money in the future. So let's take a look at and go right into the charts, right? So, so basically we have a, the chart, which uh, you're right. You know, we, we pierced the 20,019.5 high from 2017. We got a nice reversal candle. So again, what you can see here is when you got below, you had this beautiful reversal candle. That was short-term bullish. Now, what we've gone done since then is almost nothing, right? Two, four, six, eight, nine days where we've basically been going sideways. And, and for me, I look at that and I say, okay, we're still holding this 19.5, 20,000 level from 2017. That's a positive. That goes into the positive column. What I don't like is how long it's taking to start to push up. So I still have a slight positive bias for a near-term bounce here. But to be honest, it's getting long in the tooth. And, and, and what the, the common saying, at least in stock markets, and it really applies to any asset, is that you don't get a long time to buy lows, just like you don't get a ton of time to buy the highs or to short the highs. And so we're, it's getting a little to the point where like, you know, everyone that wanted to get in here is probably in. Now, why hasn't it started to bounce up? So I'm still optimistic that we could bounce back to about 25,000. I have this, this trend line here, which is that low from the Terra Luna collapse. But I'll tell you, if we start really going below this 19.5 again, you got to think that $12,000, $13,000 target is back in play down here, which to me, that is a major, major, major level. It may not get down there still, right? I mean, there's you, we none of us know the lows, and the, and the crazy thing about it is it may not go there, but it also could got go a lot further below that, and we don't know that either. So, so we just have to, I think, in bear markets, and especially remember that this is a bear market that's unparalleled in past bear markets in crypto because we've never had inflation where it was in Bitcoin's history, and we've never had a Federal Reserve that's aggressively raising rates and sucking money out of the system. So this is kind of uncharted territory the only thing i can liken it to is is the dot-com bubble bursting back in 99 2000 and and if that's the case and remember the amazon chart from that time period from 2000 almost is perfectly mirrored in the bitcoin chart as well you know that makes me wonder if maybe there's even more downside hopefully not because I'm, I'm i'm looking to accumulate a bigger core position but I got to be ready for anything. We all have to be yeah. ready for everything. I would just say, do not commit 100% of your assets. Do it in small positions so you dollar cost average in. But I do think that that this downside will be complete in about that year period. So so that's what I'm kind of eyeing myself is that, all right, well, we're already at 20,000-ish or so. You, you still have another, you know, we still have July, August, September, October. Yeah. So basically five, six months in October, November. All we need to do is basically get down to 12 or wherever the low is. And then I think you have that time frame of past cycles bottoming out. That's where this one likely will as well. And I say likely because you just don't know. But also keep in mind that we have a scenario where after the, it bottoms out, past cycles have chopped sideways and up and down and up and down for long periods, like another six months yeah. before you really start that next incline. So, so just be aware of the past cycles and how that likely will give us an insight into this cycle. I think gold has performed amazingly well. And, and let me give you my case to this and you can decide if it has any weight. Okay. So number one, um, gold is still positive slightly, just slightly, but positive for the year. That's compared to Bitcoin down, what, 50% or more. Um, we have the U.S. markets are down 20, 30%. Um, or so, and gold again is holding its value. Now, the fact that gold is insurging to the upside is, is very perplexing to a lot of investors, but I wanna show you why, right? So, and I wanna show you why it's so impressive what gold is doing. So number one, it's already broken out and it hasn't failed. It hasn't come back inside of here. Number two, we know two things. Number one, when the dollar goes up, generally gold goes down. Yes. Well, let's take a look at what the dollar has done since the start of the year. Look at the DXY. Since the start of the year, the dollar has surged from here all the way up. And what's gold? It's still net positive for the year. Now, what about 10-year yields? We know that when yields rise, at least for the last 20 plus years, gold has also go down, gone down. So if you just looked at yields in the dollar, you'd be like, oh, gold's got to be getting crushed. It's got to be down 10, 20% on the year. And if we go to the 10-year yield, take a look at this. I mean, yields have surged too. So the fact is that gold is holding its ground 
it's not necessarily rewarding you with 10 or 20% gains, but considering what yields have done and what the dollar has done, I mean, it's remarkable what gold has actually been able to achieve this year, in my opinion. So I'm still very bullish on gold yeah. at this point. I think that Bitcoin is getting to that area where it's like, okay, now it's now it's got a lot of the fluff out of it. It's starting to get attractive. Gold is already attractive. Gold is, is a safer play. I sleep a lot better when I'm invested in gold versus invested in some other you know assets at this point. So Ethereum, it has had a bounce and a decent bounce at that. I was a little surprised it didn't tag this lower support line right here it got really really close before its bounce but this is a big big level on ethereum right around eight dollars eight hundred and fifteen dollars if it breaks that then you have your next level down here at around 500 and then possibly even lower so 815 or so or 800 huge huge level you do have a bottom in right now but again are we going to hold it that's going to be the big question and again i'm not sure but but ethereum is getting very attractive as a long and listen Holding cryptos as a long-term investor is very, very tricky um, because you just don't know about the volatility, but these are finally getting in my wheelhouse. I was warning when we were at 65 or 69,000 on Bitcoin, we're finally getting to levels where I wouldn't buy a big chunk, but I think nibbling, you know, 800, sub 800 on, on Ethereum and then buying at five and buying at three, you're going to put yourself in a position where if I'm right and these cryptos do survive, and I'm talking about best of breed here, best of breed is so important. Bitcoin, Ethereum, then you're going to make a lot of money in the future. So at this stage, Bitcoin is the key. Um, I do think at some point we inch into, you know, you want to have a little Ethereum, but I do think Bitcoin is the play where you're going to be safest. Now, the one thing I'll say on Cardano, it's in this very tight range, right? If it can break out right above this line here, it's got some legs. I would say you potentially could even go as high as around 65 cents which from 47, 48 is actually percentage wise, a really, really nice move, about a 50, just under 50% move. But right now it is stuck. It is stuck in this, what's called a wedge pattern. And wedge patterns, notoriously, you don't know if they're gonna break down or break up in the near term. So what you wanna do is you wanna wait for it to happen. And then if you are into it, you jump on board. Because again, you don't wanna jump on board here, assuming it's gonna break out and then it breaks down and you, know, you get caught in another 50% draw, drawdown on cardano but but yeah i mean absolutely amazing on the price action here so many of these altcoins have just been bludgeoned so we, we know that cardano is basically a a multiple right it generally is a multiple of bitcoin just like a lot of the alts are they move like two times so i mean if if bitcoin's gonna drop another let's say 40 percent you could see 60 percent downside on cardano that would not be shocking to see uh, maybe even more than that. So, I mean, it could go to 20 cents for all we know, right? I mean, very easily 20 cents. Um, let's just hope the core value, like I think this bear markets are a time when people look at what real value is there. And so investors to buy back into these things and big money to get involved, they need to see that there's real use case. And that's why so many of the coins, in my opinion, are going to go by the wayside and go out of business because they don't have sustainable use cases. Yeah.